Hey, and welcome back to Smoker Ribs. Today, I'm putting my own twist and my own flavors into the Mexican street dogs. This is gonna be perfect for tailgating, any kind of backyard football party. Stay tuned. If you want a good backyard barbecue to you get your feel, you come to the right place. Ribs Jones Smoky Ribs. Smoky Ribs. Smoky Ribs. All right, so we're gonna start this off with Nathan Hot Dogs. This is their original smoked sausage. That's what we're going with. And, uh, to make this as authentic as I can, I'm going to be wrapping these in bacon, thin cut bacon. And that's a given on any of these Mexican style hot dogs. That's a must. And the other must is that it must be done either like in a, uh, a cast iron skillet or flat top, or they can also be deep fried. Now, there's going to be nothing authentic about this because I'm really taking this way beyond probably what the street vendors do in Tijuana, LA, New York, wherever. And I'm just adding my own twist to this and we're going to go from there. But it, it actually, I think is going to work pretty good with the flavors I got going on. Just stay tuned and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, now one thing that holds true between any of these Mexican style hot dogs from what I've been reading, and I live down here in Mississippi, and I'm here to tell you we do not have hot dog vendors that set up in the streets and such as that. So I'm going strictly by what I've read, and what I have read is that what they all have in common is that they're all bacon wrapped, okay? And they recommend using a thin cut bacon so it will adhere to the dog and not do a lot of pulling away from it. It will actually become kind of infused with it somewhat and become part of it. And so I'm going to trim this little piece right here. And what we're going to do in order to keep these intact is I'm going to take a toothpick. I don't really know that it's needed, to be honest with you. I tell you what, I think I'm going to do them just like that to heck with a toothpick. I think that'll work out all right. Okay, well do another one here now these dogs outside of this bacon wrap are probably as far from authentic as you can get and uh, I'm basing that there again on what I've read and and from what I've also read there are so many places doing their version of this so many different condiments that can go on top of it it's gonna be killer so I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done and I'll bring you back when we're ready to put these on the mojo griddle all right, we got our Mojo griddle all warmed up. And for any of you uh, Mojo owners, they just come out with a new product. This is a lip that goes around half the circumference of this to stop your food from falling off. He had a lot of requests for people wanting that. Me personally, I've never had a problem with it. It's plenty big enough, but I went ahead and got it and uh, it's, it's handy. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go on here with, I just oiled this thing, plus this bacon is gonna make its own grease. This is our hot side here. This is our not so hot side over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and brown this bacon. I'm gonna cook these wieners. I'm gonna put some back here where it's not so hot and we'll be moving them around. All right, I got all these browned up pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is I got some red onions here. We're gonna toss them in here and we're gonna saute these. Gonna add a little salt. Gonna add a little black pepper. I've got some diced, fresh diced jalapenos that I chopped up earlier. I'm 
we're just going to saute these the same way. All right, I just put some hot dog buns on here, gonna give them a quick toast. I'm just doing a few right this minute just so I can go ahead and get this hot dog put together and show you how it's done. Okay, so I went ahead and put our hot dog wieners in the buns here that's wrapped with bacon. I think they turned out really nice. That mojo did a great job on that. Okay, now what I wanna put on here at this point, is some of these caramelized red onions. These are really going to be good on top of this. Now you can certainly make these any way you see fit. This is just what I drummed up in my head and I think it's going to have some awesome flavors going on. Some contrasting flavors with some savory and some, uh, some sweet from the fruit. Alright, now I've got some fresh pineapple that I chopped up earlier. We're gonna lay a little bit of this on here. I tell you what, that pineapple with the bacon, the taste of the dog itself, a Nathan dog, gonna be killer. Now I have some fresh mango that I also chopped up earlier. little bit of mango. Right now from there, I've got a little bit of cilantro. I don't want too much of that. You gotta use cilantro really sparingly, unless you really love it. It's got a very strong, pungent taste. I mean, I love the flavor, but you, you've gotta be careful. Okay, now on top of that, I've got some avocado that I also chopped up earlier, and I also put the juice of uh, a fresh lime in this bag along with it to uh, keep it from browning and also add that little bit of lime flavor in there. Is this looking good or what? All right, now I'm going to spice things up a little bit by adding some jalapenos. Oh yeah. All right, normally I would put Mexicana crema on top of this. Could not find any, so I'm going with the next best in my opinion, and that would just be plain old sour cream. Just a dollop or two across the top. Does that look good or what? Let's see what it tastes like. Whew, I tell you what, that is some kind of good. I think I just discovered my favorite hot dog. I thought I already had it figured out. I'm having to rethink it. This has got some incredible flavors going on. Just like I suspected, the pineapple and the mango mixed with the heat from the jalapeno, the flavor from the jalapeno, the grilled red onion, with the smokiness of the bacon, the snap of the hot dog, and the flavor that a Nathan hot dog implies. Awesome flavors, really good. This is perfect for a tailgating party. This is perfect for a backyard football party. Hey, as many of you may know and may not know, Smoky Ribs is a Taste Made partner, and I would appreciate it if you would go over to the Taste Made channel and check out the Grill Iron. It's a brand new series featuring chefs across the country appearing at these tailgating parties, just cooking some insane off the charts food. You're gonna be amazed. Go over there and check it out. All right, until next time.